How would you describe the current state of india qatar relations? It's a complex question with a multitude of factors in play. On the surface, the relationship between these two nations appears robust. This robustness is particularly evident in the realm of economic ties. Qatar is a critical partner for India, providing a substantial 40% of India's liquefied natural gas requirements. But the connection extends beyond just economic interests. India and Qatar have also fostered cooperation in other significant areas such as defense and security. The existence of a framework agreement on defense and security cooperation between the two nations is a testament to this fact. However, beneath this veneer of strong ties and cooperation, recent developments have sown seeds of uncertainty and tension. An opaque espionage case involving eight Indian nationals has raised questions and concerns about the future of India-Qatar relations. So, while the relationship has been characterized by strong economic ties and mutual cooperation in defense and security, recent events have cast a shadow over this relationship, leading us to question what the future holds. The recent sentencing of eight Indian nationals to death by a Qatari court has shaken the bedrock of India-Qatar relations. Let's delve into the details of this espionage case. It was August of 2021 when the eight Indian nationals, all ex-servicemen of the Indian Navy, found themselves in a precarious situation. They were working for a private company named Al Dara, based in Qatar, when they were arrested on charges of espionage. The owner of Al Dara, an ex-serviceman himself from the Royal Oman Air Force, was also taken into custody but was later released. The nature of these charges remains shrouded in mystery. The Qatari authorities have steadfastly refused to disclose any details. This lack of transparency has sparked a wave of speculation and concern. What sort of espionage could these ex-servicemen have been involved in? Why were they targeted? And why has Qatar chosen to remain silent on the specifics? The court proceedings that followed their arrest were quick and decisive. The court of first instance in Qatar found the eight Indian nationals guilty and sentenced them to death. This harsh verdict sent shockwaves not only through India but also resonated on the international stage. India naturally expressed shock and dismay at the verdict. The country is now exploring every possible legal and diplomatic avenue to challenge the decision and secure the release of its ex-servicemen. However, the lack of information from Qatar about the charges and the evidence against them makes this a challenging task. The secrecy surrounding the case is not just a legal issue, it's also a diplomatic one. The refusal of Qatar to provide details of the case has raised questions about the nature of India-Qatar ties. It has cast a shadow over a relationship that has until now been strong and mutually beneficial. This case has brought to light the potential pitfalls in India-Qatar relations and the need for India to tread cautiously. The verdict by the Qatari court has not only shocked India, but could have far-reaching implications for India-Qatar ties. This event could strain the relationship, which until now has been quite robust. Qatar has been meeting as much as 40% of India's liquefied natural gas requirements, signifying the importance of this partnership. The situation also puts a spotlight on the existing framework agreement on defense and security cooperation between the two countries. How this crisis is handled could set a precedent for similar situations in the future. India is now faced with a critical challenge. It must tread cautiously, exploring all diplomatic and legal avenues to resolve the crisis. This includes negotiating with Qatar, seeking international intervention, and possibly appealing to human rights organizations. The Indian government might also have to consider the wider geopolitical context of the Middle East, especially given the ongoing Israel-Hamas conflict. This adds another layer of complexity to an already intricate situation. The resolution of this crisis will undoubtedly shape the future course of India-Qatar relations. So, what have we learned from this exploration of India-Qatar relations? 
we've delved into the strength of the bond between India and Qatar, a relationship anchored by Qatar's significant contribution to India's LNG requirements and a shared interest in defense and security cooperation. We've examined a case that has sent shockwaves through this relationship, the sentencing of eight former Indian Navy servicemen on espionage charges by the Qatari court. The opaque nature of these charges and Qatar's refusal to provide details have raised eyebrows and concerns. The ramifications of this case could have profound implications on the India-Qatar ties. As India explores legal and diplomatic avenues to address the crisis, it must tread carefully, keeping in mind the broader complexities of the Middle East region, including the Israel-Hamas conflict. As we continue to monitor this evolving situation, we are reminded of the complexities of international relations and the delicate balance that must be maintained.